So this is a quick tutorial to show you how to create a Google form. So I usually get to my Google Drive through my waffle over here. I choose it and then I choose Drive. Once here, I go to the red New button and I go to More and find Google Forms. From here, I'm going to change the title of my form. I'm just going to title it Demo. You can title it anything you'd like. And you'll notice that here is the title of my form as well. My school district has a required setting for us to log in in order to view the form. Depending on where the form is going, I might want to uncheck mark that option. I can give my form a quick description, and then I can go ahead into my first question. Uh, it's set up as a multiple choice question, but I don't have to have it that way. So I'm going to have my first question. And since I don't want to have a multiple choice question on this, I actually want the actual answer from people, I can choose text and you'll notice that it changed it and they'll be able to put their answer here on the form. If I want this to be a required question, meaning they cannot submit this form until all the required questions have been answered, I simply check mark this box. In order to add another item, I simply go down here to the add item, I click on the arrow, and those are all of my choices of items that I can insert. If I wanted to insert a scale to get a did you like or did you not like option. So my scale can be from 1 to 5. I can make it I mean, 1 to 4, 1 to 10. So 1 to 5 is general. So I can start with 1. Love it. And then the end label will be hate it. And again, this can be a required question. You'll just continue with this until you have all of your questions that you would like to have answered. At the end, you can write your own uh, response down here. This is the pre-populated one where it says your response has been recorded. I can add something onto this. I can show another, uh, show a link to submit another response that's checked off so they can submit again. Publish and show the public link for the results. I don't usually do this. Or allow responders to edit the responses. I have often done this and on the spreadsheet side you will see a little notation where it says that the responder has edited a response. Once I'm done, maybe I want to change the theme. This is the basic theme that goes out, but you'll notice here on the right side there are all different sorts of themes that you can choose, and then you can customize from there. So if I like this theme, I can have that, and then I also have customizing options, which I won't go into at this point. That's how you create a form. And then once you're ready to send it out to people, you can either view the form online and give them this link, or send the form in form of an email. Hope this was helpful.